This is our house, not the church. This is the sixth week of my being bedridden. Yet you are not hardly at home. I've just been very busy, I'm sorry. Esther, my time in this world is up. The doctors haven't said that, have they? CD meant for my successor. As the general overseer of the ministry. Your successor? Yes. You are to give him the CD. Why can't you call him and give him the CD yourself? My successor is not yet revealed. You have been appointed by the Holy Spirit to bear the revelation as to my successor. <laughs> Daddy, please, don't make me laugh. I'm not part of your church. I don't even attend service. I'm a musician, a hip-hop artist. You have been a bad daughter. But I love you. And... God looks upon you with favor. Here we go again. As God came in Christ, so has Satan come in man who would soon be revealed. But a man filled with Holy Spirit will be chosen to confront Satan physically and a stone shall be given to him. Daddy, Please, spare me all these details. O oh, ye of little faith, you have ears, but do not hear. Do not question the wisdom of God. Why in the world would they hide something in the bathroom covers? Dad, 
don't understand anything in the city. It is not for you to understand it. The chosen one will understand. Dad, why can't you leave me out of this? I, I, this is not me. I, don't force it. I have some, I have a rehearsal with my band. I'll, I'll see you later. I have to rush. I'm running late. Please wait. Go to the church. Tell the church elders that I want to see them. Daddy, this is not fair now. I, I, I've been running all over the place. I, 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 I'm supposed to be rehearsing with my band. Esther. Go to the church. Tell them I want to see them. Then you can go to your rehearsals from there. Daddy. Esther. City. Daddy. the rest. Get ready to take over the mantle. Each man accounts for himself. I want you to be strong. I know God will extend their days. The devil has chosen our church. You need to be prayerful. The devil chosen our church. My successor, a man filled with the Spirit of God, shall be revealed to my daughter Esther. Your daughter? Why her? Don't you ever question his wisdom. Whoever she mentioned shall be made my successor. wanted me to record an album. That's why he left me with nothing. Simple. And you wanted to remain this way? But if you mean fighting the church, then I'm sorry I will not do it. Count me out. Esther, please. Please, don't, don't tell me you're such a dumbass. I was hoping we'd blow out on the hip-hop scene with your father's money. There's no money. Thank God for this house. At least I have a roof over my head. Oh. Praise God. Praise God. Now tell me, Esther, of what use is this useless, empty, God-forsaken, demon-infested house without money? 
I'd rather sleep in the gutters, you know. We have to wait on his daughter as he instructed. That's the problem. Why wait on a girl who is not even a born again Christian to appoint a new overseer? Gideon. Well, uh, Pastor Gideon, you know that it was the words of our overseer while he was on sick bed. And, um, you know, the word of a uh, dying man most times are taken seriously. Exactly. What did you just say? The words of a dying man. So, those were the words of a dying man. A man who was sick for over eight weeks. Mm. Mm. That's what I'm getting at. Mm. Is it a hidden fact that our late overseer had misfortunes in his life, especially as a pastor, losing three sons in five years? I can understand your point. But even the girl that is there is the only surviving family. So I don't think it will be out of place if I now suggest that he was cursed. No, 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 no. Please, I wouldn't take it that far. Please. Yes, okay, let's put it this way. Perhaps the man was trying to heap his misfortunes on the church by asking us to rely on a wayward girl who is not worthy to step her feet in the God's Zion's altar, let alone revealing anything to the congregation. He even said that the devil is going to use our church as a tool. Maybe probably the, 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 the devil was already using him as a tool. Pastor Gideon, what can we do? I mean, do you actually have anyone in mind amongst the assistant pastors who can actually become our overseer? Yes. Eh, who could that be? You, Pastor Bartholomew. Me? Yes. Come on, you, you. Just, I believe that with you as the new G.O., this church will excel. Me? Believe yourself. You, 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 you have the charisma to shepherd the flock. So believe in it. It's been two weeks now, the overseer died, and no one has been mentioned to succeed him. Two weeks is not a long time. But what is worrisome is that the late overseer wants his wayward daughter, Esther. Esther of all people to appoint the new overseer. I didn't see that way. Overseer said there will be a revelation. Ah, uh, uh, Sarah, try and understand my own problem. This church is a large congregation with men and women who have dedicated their lives to Christ. It baffles me that Jesus could not select one person for this revelation, except through this wayward girl, a mere circular musician. You heard the late Jill on his dying bed, didn't you? God's way is quite mysterious. He alone knows the best. Excuse me, I have a choir to attend.
I invited you over. Here I am. Did you try to reflect on the idea of our dead Chigo's success of coming via a revelation through his wayward daughter? Yes, I did, but I really can't help but wonder why she of all people. We've been long in this business. Long enough to attempt to play with it. Yes, I agree with you. We will make sure that the right person becomes a new G.O. Right person? How? We choose him. Hmm. Choose him? I still don't get you. We will make sure that whoever the girl will mention to the congregation is whoever will tell her. You suggesting? Yes, Pastor Samuel. So tell me, who are we going to? Pastor Bartholomew. Huh. God. Pastor Bartholomew of all pastors. God. Is he to be trusted? Absolutely. I will make sure of his loyalty. Okay. Hi, hi, so ledam. Ledam. Hi, 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 so ledam. Yes, sir. Oh, Pastor Jewel. I have been looking all over for you. Titi, Maria, you can go. Okay. I heard the G.O. is choosing his successor through a revelation from his daughter. Mm -hmm. A wayward daughter for that matter. <laughs> I wouldn't quite say that if I were you. See, of all the women in Israel, the Lord chose to be closest to Mary Magdalene. Of course, let's keep our fingers crossed. Five million men. What else are you waiting for? Come off it, your dad is dead. Now listen, let's now. Now you know what? Uh, call that pastor and tell him you're okay with his proposal. Don't forget to tell him also that your dad has spoken. Pastor indeed. As a businessman, not a pastor. Good for us. Good for us. Esther, this is what we've been waiting for. Hmm? The golden chance to make some cool cash. Huh? No, what if dad gets mad at me? Oh no, Esther. Come on. Your dad must be busy right now. I was late to get into heaven. Point of correction. My father is already in heaven. Mm, well, maybe. Maybe. Do you think God will be happy with your dad that he left nothing for his only surviving child? Johnny. You seem a bit too keen on this whole thing. I hope you're not thinking I'm going to share my money with you. Well, um, well, not really. Um, but I could do with a good loan. Now, check this out. Um, what if your dad suddenly appears, you know, and kicks me so bad for, you know, with his angel in his house? Mm? You're a naughty boy. I know. Souls are about to be destroyed. You have found favor in the eyes of God. Daddy, please. Can you cut all that out? Please. What about the revelation thing? The King Joel is the chosen one. I didn't get the name who? The King Joel. Joel, say it with me. The King Joel? The King Jewel. The King Jewel. The King Jewel. Jewel.
Bester. Are you okay? What's, what, what, what's the problem? Deacon Jewel. Deacon who? Hi! My God, I can't believe this! Hester! How could you? Who, who? So, 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 so you're busy shagging a pastor, a deacon, or, or whatever your dream? Please just shut up, you dumbass. I had a dream and I saw my dad. He said... He said Deacon Jewel is the next general overseer. Deacon who? Jewel. Anything, let me handle this project, okay? Jenny, my dad might haunt you. Your dad is not gonna haunt you for any jack. Listen, girl, you had a dream, not any stupid revelation. Hmm? I thought you said your dad is in heaven. Yeah. Then, girl, relax, okay? Relax. Let's go. The name you should mention to the congregation is Pastor Bartholomew. No problem. Just hope you're not playing games and I, I want to make something clear to you. She's not going to say anything until she clears the check. I'm a born again Christian. I don't play games. Pastor Bartholomew is the only pastor who can continue effectively from where the late G.O. stopped. I need to tell you something. Baby, you have nothing to say. Jenny, Let's get out of here now. He needs to know. I got the revelation last night. You did? Yeah. Dad named Deacon Joel. Strange. Very strange. <laughs> Who the hell is the Kijuel? Hey, come on, Pastor. No, don't don't bother yourself, okay? She only had a dream. Hmm? Anyway, um, thanks, young lady. I've known. I've also given you five million naira. See, I want you to forget about the so-called revelation. It's, it's it's nothing. You know, forget it like he rightly said. You had a dream. Understood? Sure. Good. The only name in your head is Pastor Bartholomew. Pastor Bartholomew, all the way. A yeah, good man. Yes. It was nice doing business with you, baby. Let's leave. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Let's leave. Bye bye. So lay down, lay down, hi, so lay down. It's done. You are now the new Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Congratulations, my G.O. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. The Lord is good. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, now to business. I want a third. Ah, uh, Pastor. We. Oh, 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 that's correct. That's correct. We want a third of all the monies that comes to this church to us. 
Do you have a problem with that? Uh, none at all. Good. But that includes the tithes, the harvest funds, the offerings, and all the gifts that come to the church. Oh, Pastor Gideon, you talk as if you don't know me anymore. I mean, we've been friends, we know ourselves. Well, um, I am a man of my word, and my word is my word. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's it. Are we not, are we not yeah. friends? Are we worship in the yeah. same church? <laughs> no, no, that's my word. But, but, you still um, have to swear that you will keep to your words. Listen, no disrespect, man. No, take it. Let me have it. I swear by this Bible, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that I will keep to our agreement. Or is there any other thing that I can add to it? <laughs> it's done. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Yes. Yes, you sent for me. Yes, I did. I did. But uh, sorry, right now I'm having a brief meeting with this gentleman. I'm so sorry, Pastor. Yes. The service actually dragged longer than anticipated. I see. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, that's that's lovely. Yes, gentlemen, this is Sir Deacon Jewel. It's certain he will rise up one day to become the Jew. <laughs> Oh, Pastor, I think that, I think that will be taking it a bit too far, sir. No, but with God, all things are possible. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Pastor, um, I will come when you're through with him. Okay. Excuse me. Bless you. God bless you, sir. Yes. Ah, that's lovely. I hope you had a good look at him. He takes the church money to the bank. I have shown you his house. And I've shown you the bank where he takes the money to. Do your job. No shaking, sir. Do your job. No dress. No quack, sir. Do your job. God bless you. I think the hand of the Lord is upon our church. Honey, I think you need to take Junior to school. You've been so cold since yesterday. With all the things that happened in church, somebody would have thought that you'd be glorifying the Lord for his favor upon our church. Indeed. Indeed, the Lord has favored our church. And he will continue to favor our church. But God said we should test every spirit to know if the spirit cometh from him. What other test do you need? Beside all those people that got healed yesterday, what other test? I must confess to you, my spirit does not agree with Pastor Bartholomew's. I feel very strongly about his, his, his powers. Yes, I do. And the way he was staring at me, Oh, in such a spooky manner. It, it, you know, that depicts something sinister. It, it, oh, God. Honey, you're doing the work of the Lord, and He will never let His servants go unprotected. Amen. Okay. Amen. You are ready yet? I am, my love. Are you going to the church first? Oh, no, my darling. Uh, I have to get to the bank first. Okay. Mm? Take care of yourself. I love you, my darling. Mm? Hi, hi, Saul, so well, Gio, I told the church warden that I want to see you in my office. Didn't you get the message? 
Does the mountain leave its place? I am the mountain, and men come to me. Uh, my Jill, you are doing great and mighty things. Imagine the way you were filled with the Spirit of God on Sunday and the amazing signs and wonders that follow. May all the wonderful works you have started continue to bear fruit in Jesus' name. <laughs> of course. Now, gentlemen, since I received the news of the revelation, I became a changed person. The angels now are my servants. My Jew, <laughs> my Jew, the church made a lot of money. Never in our history have we recorded such phenomenal proceeds from tithes and offering. <laughs> yes, that was what I was discussing with Pastor Sam. You have to concentrate on prosperity preaching. That is what the world wants to hear. And uh, of course, you know the impact financially to our church. <laughs> yes, financially. <laughs> Gideon and Samuel. Every money we make in this church shall be used to build the kingdom. Rich men shall feed the poor. That way, the stronghold of poverty would be broken. Are we clear? No, gentlemen, you may leave me for now, for the Spirit says that I should meditate. Gio, whenever you are through, I still want to discuss certain issues with you. using strange language. I can hardly understand him. Yes, very strange because he is in the spirit and the power of God has completely taken him over. Pastor, this issue of the church giving its money to the poor or the rich giving to the poor, it's not biblical because I was attacked. They killed the driver. I'm robbers. They, they, they attacked me. Why are you all staring at me? Joel did it. What? Yes. Who else knew he was taking the money to the bank? Of course, everybody knows it. This has been the practice in this church. The church funds are handed to Dickin Jewel. Who banks it in the next day? The Dickin Jewel you all see here is not the same Dickin Jewel you all know this why. He has been completely taken over by the devil. He is greedy and overambitious. Pastor! Yes, but that is true. I'm saying the truth. He's even said that he intends to build his own church. Because he was thinking that we are going to make him the general overseer. But when that eluded him, he vowed that he was going to walk against the church. God will forgive you if you lie. But it's true. What is true? 
It is inhumane to treat a man that has been attacked by armed robbers this way. He could have been killed. Liar! Liar! My Gio, if the church does nothing about this case, I will see to it that Joel is arrested. He must be brought to book. Joel. Yes, Pastor. You will have to return the church money before tomorrow. Mm. Pastor, I, I know nothing about. I am the eye of the world. And nothing transpires that I do not know. The spirit says that you are the thief. That is not true, Pastor. I did not take that phone. I did not touch that money, Pastor. Pastor Bartholomew, he could not have done this. This case has to be adequately investigated. Sarah. Sarah! Yes, Pastor. When you get home, confess to your neighbor that you slept with his 12-year-old son yesterday. What? For the spirit says that uh, anything hidden should be exposed. The spirit says that the church has become a den of thieves. Jewel, obey the spirit and return the church money. Otherwise, the church may be compelled to hand you over to the police for appropriate action. See yourself, because I said, see yourself. Delivered me from the jaws of death. He will take control and prove my innocence. Honey, I told you. I told you to stop handling church funds. Hmm. Yes, you did. But I've always had strange feelings about his powers. And the Lord led me to the truth. What truth? That Pastor Bartholomew could actually sit down and open his mouth to tell lies that I orchestrated the robbery means that his powers are not from God. But he's performing miracles and they're believing him. You can't tell them otherwise. Honey, not all that said to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of God. I feel deeply in my spirit. The enemy, Satan, wants to penetrate the Lord's sanctuary. 
Bowie no bad no me. We used to know him. Now he's been possessed by the prince of this world. Honey, what do we do? We should say the truth, say the Lord. And that truth shall set us free. Hello, sister. I'm sorry to have scared you. I, and the door was open, so I just walked so, in. Is that what gives you the right to walk into my house? No, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Wait, wait, who, who, who are you? What do you want? My name is Dick and Joel. I used to work with your father. Sister, are, are you okay? What do you want? I got a revelation. Uh, I was asked to collect a CD from you. Who told you about a CD? Who the heck told you about a CD? No, no, like, like I said, I, I got a revelation and there is a message in that CD. A message that is going to deliver this world from the grips of the enemy, from the devil. I want you out of this house right now. Sister Esther, you need to listen to me. This is really, really important. Listen, you have to hand that CD over to me before it becomes too late. You have to. You know what, man? When you're through, lock my door behind you. Because right now, I am getting out of this damn house. Sister Esther, I am not lying to you. Don't you just think about it. How can you have this CD? I don't care! Okay? Look, I am not born again. I don't care about your revelations. Just leave me the heck alone! Your own master, 
use your power to be your own savior. Discover the strength in you. Look into me. Call your name. Believe in me. And the Spirit will save you. In the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 14 to 16, God gives us a clinical account of a lamb. Did you say that man was chosen by the Holy Spirit? Sister Sarah, what in God's name are you talking about? Pastor Bartholomew, what is he talking about? Why this sudden deviation from the ideas of the church that we are all proud of? Time changes, Sister Sarah. For the better or for worse? For the better of course. The flock is increasing by the day. The church is getting richer. So what other miracle and testimony do you need? Our Lord never built His church solely on the bedrock of riches. This prosperity syndrome has completely eclipsed the vision of the laid out doctrine. Sister Sarah, the church has never been in a more competent set of hands. Pastor Gideon, search deep down and tell me that you believe the new Geo's miracle comes from the living God. I'm still waiting to hear, Pastor Gideon. An agreement before we made you the general overseer. Yes, we did. Agreement? Yes. Yes. And you have not bothered to fulfill it. Instead. Instead what? You threw money. I mean, our hard-earned money. You threw money away to all sorts of foundations without consulting us. What agreement would I make with you? In order to carry out the job for which I was sent to do in this world. Pastor Patrimi, let's be frank here. Would you want to challenge this spirit? I'm talking to you. I'm not referring to any spirit. Now, listen. Before we made you the general overseer, we agreed on one third of the process. Yes, one third. And you swore to that effect. Even with the Bible. Now, and despite all the increase in the church earnings, you continue to look the other way. Why? The kingdom of the spirit has come, and men shall be set loose from poverty. My mission is to set the world free. I have not come to take from those who don't have and give those that have. But the Bible says it shall be taken from those who don't have and handed over to those who have. Exactly. Gentlemen, the world has misrepresented the truth from the beginning. When tyranny was challenged in heaven, the truth was misrepresented. And when we affirm that men should be born equal, the truth was misrepresented. And when the angels, an ancient of old, said that Power should be shared equal in heaven and on earth. Truth again was misrepresented. Please stop this! Stop it! Stop this here impossible summons! All we want to know is how do we get our money? Yes, our money. Gideon, are you hot or cold? 
I mean, which side are you? Are you of God or are you of the devil? Oh, certainly, I mean, I'm a child of God. And you know it. The Bible says that you are either hot or you are good. Because if you are lukewarm, I will spit you out of my mouth. Gideon, you are neither hot nor good. You are alone. And if you step out of my office, you shall fall and die. Stop it! Don't be stupid, Bartholomew. I personally made you. Yes. And I can equally unmake you. If by tomorrow I don't start getting what is due to me, I will see to it that a new chico is appointed. Nonsense. You are stupid! I knew someone. You conspired to challenge the spirit. You who conspired to rob Jewel and later sent police after him. Your hand is stained in blood. You believe you can challenge the spirit? My Jew, please forgive me. I am very sorry. I will worship you forever, please. I will worship you forever, please forgive me. Your body will fail you. <laughs> your hand will cleave to your side. What? Your tongue will cleave to the roof of your mouth. <clears throat> A million sand will block your eardrums and you will not be able to hear a sound nor utter a word. <sighs> there where you lie shall be your toilet <sighs> and men will run away from you. <clears throat> your body will be in it and pains shall be your bedmate. Flies will be your companion and one of your eyeballs will pop out. No! We will expose you! You are the devil! You are not Bartholomew! You are not part of Bartholomew! Who will expose you? <laughs> you are the devil! Hi, hi, sorry, lay down. Lay down. Hi, hi, sorry, lay Hi. Your dad did this to you in your dream. <laughs> oh, Esther, please, don't bullshit me, please, Esther. I am not bullshitting you. My dad appeared in a dream and started hitting me. I think he's angry with me because I lied. Esther. Your dad is dead. Buried and forgotten. Get that into your pretty head 
and let it stick, okay? Johnny, my dad did this to me in a dream, all right? <sighs> Dick and Joel came by asking for the CD. What CD? The CD my dad gave me for the chosen one of the church. The overseer and Dick and Joel are interested in the CD. Dick and Joel? That idiot! By the way, who told him he's the chosen one? I don't know. All I know is that the overseer sent policemen and I think he's interested in the CD too. Policemen? Hmm. You see, whatever is in the CD must be of great value. Uh, now, now, tell me, who's got it? That's why I'm here. I was wondering if maybe you took it by mistake, thinking it was one of my musical CDs. I don't have it. Why are you staring at me? I said I don't have the sheet, okay? Okay, fine. I believe you. I'm getting scared, Johnny. I am. You've got cool five million naira in your bank account. Thanks to my ingenuity. Hello? 4.5, you mean? Whatever, whatever. You see, um, the CD must be pretty important and um, we could make some cool cash out of it. You know, we could trade again. You understand what I'm saying? Well, you cannot trade something you don't have, can you? Yeah, yeah. But you once had it. You can grab it again. Then we'll go for the mega box. Hi, so let them. Let them. Hi. 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 So let them. Let them. Sarah. You are still here. Yes. And you know why. Pastor Lucy, I don't like the way you talk about me on the pulpit. Sarah, you are an adulterer, a fornicator, and you have refused to accept this before the congregation. Sarah, why don't you confess your sins? Pastor Lucille, from day one, I had genuine doubt about you and your ministry. When you went on to lay false allegations against me before the governing council of the church. And it became clear what your intentions were. Intentions? Sarah, what intentions? You preached some strange doctrine, which I personally find unbiblical and alien to our church. Sarah, so you now want to teach me how to say my sermons? If need be, Pastor Bartholomew, you lie against your fellow member in the name of the Spirit. You don't even know how to call the Spirit. Neither do you know how to call Jesus properly. Do you have any other thing to say? Yes. Give back to the devil whatever it is that he has given you to ruin this church with. Who knows what happened to Pastor Gideon? and Samuel. Excuse me! Hi, hi, so let them. Let them. Hi, 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 so let them. Let them. Hi, 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 so let them. Let them. Hi, 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 Young man, how can I help you? Well, I have a message from Pastor Lucy. But I'm just coming for who does he want again? Ah! Ah! Potter woman. Hi, hi, so let him. Let him. Hi. Hi, hi, so let on, so let on, let on, so let on, hi, hi. <laughs> 
sorry. I'm sorry, Esther. I, I, I don't need really to fight you. What are you doing here? Esther, you need to help me. You have to assist me with the code. What? Get out of my house. The devil has taken over your father's church. I must be stopped. Look, look. The message is in the CD. I need you to help me gain access into the CD. What CD? Wait a minute. How did you get in here? I took your spare key the other day you left me here. Look, Satan has spread his agents all over the earth. If he's not stopped, he will take control of this earth. The message is in the CD and the message is clear. The damn CD is missing, okay? It's lost. It's no, gone. No. So forget about no, it. No, I have it. I took it. What did you say? Hello? Listen. Inspector? Yeah, he's here. Esther, listen to me. The computer is here. Just listen. Esther, please. Listen to me. Esther, please. Listen to me. Please. Look, I don't know who you are, but I know you're a fake pastor and a murderer and you're wanted by the police. Please do not listen to what they have said. That is the lie from the devil. That is the word of the devil. He's the agent of all lies. An agent of deception. He's the father of darkness. The, the devil has taken over your father's church. The church he labored all through his life. I don't care. Get out of my house. 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 CD? <laughs> smart guy. Yeah. You're smart and I think I like you. Oh, that's good. Oh, no wonder everybody's talking about you. Mm. Well, I give up. Yes. I know where the CD is. Hmm? How much do you want? <clears throat> you see, first things first, okay? The CD contains a bomb. Yeah. It contains a key to a treasure which a church wants by all means. So, you will have to pay me good money. You are thinking of me giving you 10 million naira. How did you know? But I will give you 20 million naira as long as you get me the CD. <laughs> oh, man of God, get out of here. Man of God, stop lying. Please, stop lying. How can you pay me 20 million naira just to deliver an ordinary CD? <laughs> oh, man of God, please tell me you're joking. <laughs> you must be joking. Are you here to waste my time? Do you want to waste my time? You're serious? You, you give me 20 million naira. Man of God, you'll pay me 20 million naira just to deliver the CD. Please. Let me confess, I know where the city is, and I'm going to deliver it immediately. I beg you in the name of God, don't go anywhere. Just wait for me, man of God, I'm coming. Wait for me. If you fail. Well, I, I know. If I fail, I won't get 20 million naira. I know. I know. You shall die. I like 
this guy. <laughs> I like you, man. I like you. Oh, God. Good sense of humor, man. <laughs> Shout down. Come on, get out. <laughs> You're a man of God, man. Man of God don't kill, do they? <laughs> Just relax. I'll be right back, man of God. Relax. I like that. Sense of humor. You're good. <laughs> Pastor Ian, everything you see on the pages of the papers are lies. All lies! I even heard that you killed a pastor in your church. <laughs> How true is that? How true is this? How can I kill? How is it possible for me to kill? Kill? It's it! <sighs> Pastor Young, I tell this to you. The devil has taken over our church. The devil? How do you mean the devil has taken over the church? I got a revelation. That Pastor Lucille is the devil incarnate. The king, we are both men of God. And we are supposed to know that Pastor Lucille is manifesting the great power of our Lord Jesus Christ. And his works are there for everyone to testify. With the way you go about this, anyone else could say you are being envious of his powers. Hmm. Pastor Yang, we have to fight. We have to fight this battle. We must overcome the devil. I am sorry. I cannot fight a man of God. The Bible says, touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pastor Ian. The children of God. Every child of God must gather together and fight this battle. We must fight this battle. The King Joel, I am a pastor, a man of God. If the Almighty God wants me to join you in this fight, then let him reveal himself to me also in a revelation. You can leave my house now. The King, So that, that is why I had to come to you. Everybody else seems to have been bought by Lucille. They all think I'm a criminal. You have to relax yourself. You have gotten to your father's house. At least they will not look at you here. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Where is your wife and my grandchild? Oh. I, um, they are at a friend's place. They are very safe there. Thank God. But you should have brought them here to stay with me. Remember, you are my only son. And I wouldn't allow anything to happen to you. Yes, Dad. I know. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, Dad, I'm hungry. Do you have food in the kitchen? Mm. Yes. Uh, you have a... Uh... Fresh, fresh orange juice in the refrigerator. So I'll be right back.
What have I done? Dad, I heard what you said in there. That you are going to hold me down till they come here. Dad! You are, you are evil. You must be stopped. Lord of Jesus. How can you be killing dedicated men of God? How could you have allowed yourself to be used by the devil to stop us all? Lucy, who God appointed to save the world? Oh, Dad. How could you have that? Open yeah, door. come in! Come in, Cyber! Come in! Oh, God, no, 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 Has come to kill, to steal and destroy. But he has come that we may. His wife, Patrick, has created a vacuum in his home. If the woman leaves, he is damned. He guess he is a monster. Good afternoon. Afternoon. We are from Pastor Lucy. He said we should bring you. Now you go back and tell your pastor that I'm not going anywhere. And I will not tolerate any form of harassment. Do you understand me? Nonsense. Leave whatever you do and follow me. against the devil. The Spirit says that we must all be committed to this curse. Really? Wow. I'm impressed. But pray, tell me, who is the devil? Because everybody keeps calling everybody the devil. How do I know the devil? Esther, the Spirit guides you to knowledge, for it is not granted unto man to know the ways of the Spirit by His grace. To help you understand it better, good work is not hidden, for it shines like the sun and draws souls to the kingdom. Any good work, therefore, that enhances the ministry is of the Spirit. You know that enemy cannot draw souls to the kingdom. Rather, it takes away souls from the kingdom. Can you please speak in a language that I understand? And what kingdom are you talking about? After all, Satan has his own kingdom too, so... I am the chosen one who was born into this world to make people understand what the Son did not explain in his short time on earth. I am the comforter who come after the Christ. No, you are not. I named you as the chosen one. The consumer could have been sitting right where you're sitting if I had named him too. Esther, the ways of the spirit is not of the mere mortals. What will be, will be. I am that I am.
Hello, honey. It's me. I've been trying to reach you. What's been happening to your phone? Who's this? Hello? Who is this? Some people say you use the devil to perform miracles. I win souls for the kingdom. I cast out demons. I heal. I have a foundation for the poor. I have blessed so many homes. And I have also eradicated poverty in millions of lives. You see, the good work of the kingdom speaks for itself. Well, the devil can also do all these things. The kingdom of Satan cannot stand if he divides against itself. I am the eye of the world, and through me in spirit, you can regain your sight if you look into my eyes. Well, since you have all these great powers, why don't you use your powers and summon the control here spiritually? This is physical warfare, and those who are steadfast would prevail, and great reward would be granted unto them. But do not forget that Satan also has powers and has been given freedom to operate. If we go to the book of Job, chapter 1, verse 6, the Bible says that there was a day the children of God appeared before the Lord. Satan was among them. So, do not be deceived, for Satan also has powers. Do you know that Satan can appear before you in the image of your late father just to deceive you? Therefore, you should not undermine its powers. Okay. What do you want me to do? Make a promise and I will confide in you. What promise? There is a wise stone which Jewel wants to lay his hands on by all means. That stone belongs to the church. Get it for us. <laughs> Um, look, um, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, but I'm not sure I really understand what you're saying. What white stone? Make a promise. You will go. Okay. I promise that if I come across any white stone, I will give it to the church. With your tongue, you have judged yourself. Because if you fail, I shall pull out your tongue and you shall die. <laughs> oh my God, impossible. Please, that's freaking, freaking impossible.
Nothing is impossible before the Spirit. I am the eye of the world. I am that I am. Hi, hi, so I just saw my dad in a dream. It's a revelation. Your father is asking me to help me. The whole thing is... It's unbelievable. You think it's unbelievable? Then how do you explain your father appearing to you in your dream? Or things that have happened to you? Or the fact that I know that the city exists? Look, I really don't want to get involved in all this. Honestly. Sister Esther, you have no choice now. You must help me. You must help me battle with the devil. Here we go again. No one has told me who the devil really is. Lucille is a miracle worker. You are not. He heals in the name of Jesus. You don't. Isn't the message clear? You know, you're the only one I trust in this world. What do you want from me? I want us to view this CD together. I can't break the code. That's why I need your help. Dad said the Chosen One will understand what's written on the seed. What is this? It reads... Revelations 2, verse 17 and 26. It's a spiritual language. I don't understand it. I do. Congratulations. 
congratulations. You are the chosen one. Blessed are you, for you are called to do the Lord's battle. 38 years ago, the, the devil came in physical form. That was when he was born. 38 years ago. The entire world will be possessed by the devil unless you act and do something about it. The devil had to come in physical form because he lost the battle spiritually. You have been chosen to do battle with the devil physically. To fight the devil physically? You will lose. The battle is the Lord's. You have to go to the cave of Pathos. In that cave lies a hidden white stone. Possess it and break it. In that stone lies a seal. A name has been written therein. With that, you can overcome every power of darkness and every hold of darkness on man shall be under you. I have made a map with which you can use to locate the place. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You don't want me to come in? I'm busy right now. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, it's Yester. Tomorrow might be too late. It's important to talk to you right now. Please, let's go in. Let's talk outside here. Okay, fine, no problem. Now, guess what? Lucille just paid five million naira into my account to get him the CD. What? You paid five million into your account? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you promised to get him the CD? Of course! Johnny, I'm not in the mood for any other pranks today, okay? Oh, come on, Esther. Esther, you see, this is no pranks, okay? I, Lucille... But he 
day has come that we might have a life more abundantly. I will never, never bow to the devil. I will never, never succumb to the demon. The devil is roaming like a lion, seeking who to kill and destroy. I'll meet you over there, okay? Jesus! What are you doing? What has Jesus got to do with it? What does it look like? Besides, you look like you're well endowed. Get deep behind me, Satan! Get deep behind me, in Jesus' name! Oh yeah? Adam ate the apple, you know. Well, I'm not Adam. I'm Joel, the chosen one. So, being the chosen one doesn't stop you from getting down. Besides, you have a wife. And you have children. But tell me, where did all those children come from? Stop. Just stop. Just, just stop. Stop. Which way now? Whoa, that's the peak over there. What? Come on, let's go. Come on, let, let, let's go. What? Tell me something. Do you have sex with your wife? Now I think that's a completely unnecessary question to ask. Yeah. Very unnecessary question because obviously you do. You have a son. Can I ask you something else? What? Do you... Do you sometimes feel like doing it with someone else, you know, like humping another woman. Listen to me. You have to rebuke that vile spirit in you. Do you understand me? Give me a break. Get off your high horse. This is the problem I have with all you so-called men of God. You're all bloody hypocrites. When I was touching you, you were wriggling with pleasure. I swear you didn't want me. You had a hard <gasps> By the pretense. Find you. Find you in Jesus' name. Find you. Really? Well, let's see who's possessed with the devil between you and I. Oh, oh. Where, where, where are you going? Stupid expedition. Master, don't go, please. You know what to do to stop me. If we can't stop you, I will. Johnny, what's up? Master, don't! Don't patronize me. Master. Master, who is he? Will you shut up? That is what I'm here to find out. Who's in Google Tent? What is he doing here? Shut up! Shut, shut down! Both of you on your knees! On your knees! Down! Esther, don't play with me! Don't. Down!
Oh, what are we supposed to do? Okay, move time. Which way? Okay, then move, 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 move. Move! We found it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hey, shut Thank up, you. Is this his place? Where is it? Look, we need to talk. Okay, we have to talk. Father, I bless you, Chris. Father, go slap you. I can't, I can't talk. Father, where is it? He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him shall I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What in heaven? Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. If the seal gets broken before it gets to me, it means we have failed. What is this? The essence of our Lord lies therein. It is not for you. Break the stone immediately. The Chris. I tell you my own before. You did mad. Well, it belongs to the man of God. I will deliver this to him, man. No! Don't do it. Don't. He is the devil. If you give him this stone. The whole world will be under his control for the next 2,000 years. Don't do it! <laughs> Good for me. At least you'll forever be grateful to me that I delivered this to him or whatever this is. Johnny, this is not a joke. Let me have the stone. I have to take it to Pastor Lucille. Shut up! I'll deliver it to him myself. If I don't give it to Pastor Lucille, he's going to kill me. I'll still without trouble. So wait, you're just going to kill us in cold blood? I'll do it in hot blood. No move. Move! 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 Hi, 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 
Come on, let's go. 